Yeah, many cultures already eat so-called awful, spelled O-F-F-A-L. And now more restaurants across the nation are showcasing it. News 10 Suzanne Fong gives us a taste of awful dining. You don't have to go far to find unusual animal parks. Inside this Asian grocery store, you'll find pork tongues, chicken feet, duck gizzards. The question is, would you eat it? It sounds a lot like the word awful, but it's spelled differently. <laughs> awful might horrify you. It might make you gag. It might make your stomach turn. What exactly is awful? Awful is all of the parts of the animal that you're not used to eating. It's the kidneys, the liver, the head. Basically, it's all the organs and extremities of a butchered animal, like tails, tongue, feet. Yeah, actually, there's a shot of kidneys right here. Awful has been popular in many cultures. Here we have the, the tripas, the buche. The beef tongue makes great tacos. Pig's head, which makes great tacos as well or head cheese. Now more people are willing to take a bite out of the nose to tail trend. It's not mainstream. It's becoming more mainstream. Taylor's Market co-owner Danny Johnson explains why more chefs are serving up the variety meats in a variety of ways. They're trying to, you know, think outside the box and use the whole animal. Yep. Everything. Rooter to tutor, whatever you want to call it. Jason Azevedo is the meat master at Mighty Tavern in Fair Oaks. His passion for butchering and different meats goes beyond the kitchen. Uh, what part of the pig do you want? <laughs> So what part of the pig are we serving today? Well, the copa de testa would be the head. The pate has parts of the shoulder, parts of the shank, parts of the belly. Of course, we had to sample a little of everything he laid out on the charcuterie plate, starting with the chicken liver mousse. It's the most friendly. It's actually the lightest. I have to tell you, sometimes when I eat liver, it makes me gag. Try it with a little of the mustard, which will help cut it. It does not make me gag. It's light, it's creamy, moussey. I don't even know if that's a word. Plenty of restaurants are serving their own take on Ophel. Taylor's Market serves veal sweetbreads. They are uh, the thalamus gland of a veal. Um, they have a flavor that's uh, kind of like chicken, fattier chicken. A little bit of gaminess or earthiness to them. I convinced News 10 photographer Mike Garza to sample some unusual eats. And I was a little freaked out about eating chicken feet. It's actually not too bad. It's a little mushy, a little soft. It has good, good taste, good flavor. Now, how about duck chin? The texture on it is very almost rubbery-like, but it does taste good. All right, so this I'm going to just go ahead and attempt to eat it all at once. It's a duck tongue. I hear the crunch. You're right. It is very bony. Is there any flavor? It's kind of bland, actually. So, if you're looking to try some new flavors. Oxtail has a real rich flavor. Or if texture's your thing. There's going to be some texture differences, okay. especially in the tongue. It'll be just a little chewier. Try some tripe. Have some pork stomach. Here we have the tripas and the buche. Put aside those reservations. Okay, here we go. I'm not big on gaming. Buche, lengua, tripas, cabeza, can't remember which one's which. All that matters is what you like. Nice and crunchy. You can find awful in more places than you realize. Next time, take a closer look at the butcher section. Take a closer look at that menu. You might be pleasantly surprised. In Sacramento, Suzanne Fawn, News 10.